What's up guys, we're going to be doing a video over here where we're going to do some 4K gaming in Forza Horizon 4. I plan on doing a series here, so we're going to test out some of the frame rates and see how, uh, I guess, consistent we are. So uh, we're just going to be doing a basic RAM overclock like we do with everything. Uh, and then we have OC available here so it can take up more uh, power, but we're, we're liquid cooled so I'm not too worried about temperatures. Um, <clears throat> as we go here, we have our standard GPU, the RTX 2080 Ti. Uh, we are going to put a pretty good overclock on that. Uh, we're going to put about a thousand on the clock, hundred on the, uh, or sorry, a thousand on the memory clock, a hundred on the GPU clock, uh, and then just increase our power and GPU tip. So we're going to go ahead and apply that, uh, as well as I did add an aggressive fan curve to it, uh, as you can see here. So that's pretty good, I think. Uh, should keep us nice and cool, so let's get right into it and uh, see how we do. Uh, I'll start out by going through the video options here, so you can see everything. Uh, I turned off dynamic optimization so I can go deeper into it all. Uh, but you can see everything there, and then we'll go over here to advanced. Okay, so you see ultra extreme, extreme, extreme. We don't really do a ton of MSAs. MSAA <laughs> because it causes uh, issues. Ooh, reflection quality can go up one more. We'll do that. Uh, we turned on FXAA because that uh, really does more with the uh, CPU than it does the GPU, so not as worried about that. So, now that you see all the settings, we're going to go ahead and uh, hop right into a benchmark and see how we do. We got another little pre-made video uh, that I think is actually pretty cool. Um, I like how it says optimizing for my PC. I feel like it's really just more or less loading in the benchmark software and equipment. <laughs> uh, but you know, whatever makes them happy and uh, <clears throat> hopefully gives us some pretty good frame rates. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty good. I would not I would, I would expect at least above 60 on average. Uh, but we are playing in 4K, so there, there's something to be said for that. Um, I really do enjoy this game. I'll probably end up doing some more videos where I'm driving around or showing off car builds I've done, showing how to get, you know, extra points uh, here and there for, uh, like, upgrading your cars uh, and stuff of that nature. Let's see. So it's going to put us in the McLaren demo. I believe that's their primary demo. Yeah, besides their intro, of course. So, we'll see how we do. Looks like we're doing pretty solid right now. It's very smooth. Looking definitely at at least 60 FPS. So, we're in the first quarter, no problem. Everything actually looks really smooth. A lot clear and clearer. Getting the water effects in. Uh, I think they really did a great job with the textures on this game. I mean, everything's so lifelike, especially whenever it comes to the car models. Uh, you see quite a bit of uh, detail, whether it be in the light reflections, the light layouts, even the interior, which I think is the cool part. If you want to see like the interior of the dash on the looks of the car, so the steering wheel, or how everything looks, uh, it's really easily and it really easily accessible, I guess I should say. And it just looks tremendous. So I wish I drove half as good as this guy in the benchmark does, but uh, I'm not. I'm not that good. <laughs> Uh, I pretty much usually just play on average or hard. It, it depends what the type of race is. I'm better at some than others. Uh, so that's a big portion of it. But it looks like everything's running really smoothly. Uh, I can't really complain about it too much. Let's see. We're at 4 of 12 in this race. We're doing pretty good. We're coming up on this other car now. So you can see frame rates up at that top right, so we're pretty much just locked in at 60 FPS. Yeah, I don't think we could do any better than that. As you can see, it's not really even tolling the system, so it locked in at 60. Uh, it never dropped below it, it doesn't look like it. Uh, you can see the GPU render here was averaging 87.2 and then just dropping it down to 60, because that's what I have it set to. Uh, FPS maximum, we're looking at 107.9, basically 108. And that's running full 4K. So I feel pretty good about that. Um, you can see the CPU simulation FPS, that's kind of insane. <laughs> uh, but I think it turned out really well. So we'll go back, we can look at temperatures now. And yeah, it didn't even really affect anything. So it's a great little setup and uh, I hope to see you guys in the future.